Tuesday, APS's Superintendent Maria Kostarfin speaking publicly for the first time since the school board revealed it was not renewing her contract. And she is refuting the board's claim that she supposedly knew for weeks that all of this was coming her way, saying that she was assured as recently as Sunday and Monday she had the chairman's support. Joe Hankey is in the newsroom, and Joe, Maria Kostarfin said she knew there were issues, but she thought she had the support to keep her job. That's right, Jeff. Atlanta Public School Superintendent Maria Karstarfin talked with WABE Public Radio today and said in June and July she learned of issues the board and others had with her performance. She immediately worked to address those, but overall she was told that she continued to meet or exceed expectations in her review. She hinted in today's interview something other than her performance led to her contract not being renewed. On Monday, the Atlanta Board of Education Chair Jason Estevez said in 2014 the district needed a leader like Maria Karstarfin. Under her leadership, the district worked to rebuild trust after the APS cheating scandal and increased graduation rates. Last year, she was named Georgia Superintendent of the Year. But Estevez with says the board began today, questioning its future with Karstarfin. There was risk to that progress being made in the next five years. And as a board, we came to the decision that uh, a change was needed to ensure that that long-term progress continued. In a public radio interview today on WABE, Karstarfin said Estevez told her Monday she had his support just hours before the board made its decision in a private session. So I was a little surprised to see uh, that when they did the count and it was reported in the paper uh, that he was a no vote. A majority of parents today outside Morningside Elementary were unaware of the board not renewing Karstarfin, but some were confused by the board's decision. I'm surprised. Um, I thought she was doing a great job. I'm concerned because I feel like things have been on the right track. It's been awesome. She's been great. She comes to events, she talks and stuff, she's very accessible. I think she's done a lot of really good things here. The president of the Atlanta Federation of Teachers today says change in the superintendent's office is overdue. Her number one issue with Karstarfin, the privatization of schools by using charter schools. She, she can call herself an educator, but she has been working for for-profit companies. That's doing. what we don't like. And while the board has not specifically detailed why it is not renewing Karstarfin's contract, she hinted to WAB the decision was political. It's oh. been public that it's not about performance. It's not about the outcome for kids. Um, it's not about the performance evaluation. So there clearly is another um, perspective that I would argue if it is important to a board or a supervisor that you would put that in the evaluation and monitor that carefully. Dr. Karstarfin's contract runs through June of 2020. Yesterday, the board chair said he is hopeful she will remain on the job. Until then, Karstarfin told WABE today she is committed to the superintendent's job and has projects and goals she still wants to complete. Jennifer. Joe, thank you. Well, the superintendent contract is a lucrative one. When Karstarfin was hired in 2014, her contract did come with some perks, like a $1,200 a month car allowance, $2,000 a month for expenses, a furnished home office, and extra retirement contributions. Now, that may seem like a lot, but according to the Council of Great City Schools, it's pretty standard. The group studied big city superintendents in 2014 and found most got additional retirement funds. They also received allowances for phones and home offices, and about half got a monthly car allowance. You can read Maria Kostarfin's full letter to the APS staff after the board announced its decision yesterday by downloading the 11 Alive News app.